Hello, friends. I'm coming to you later than usual. I am um, still cranking away on some work stuff. It's been a gloriously busy day. Um, but as I was just kind of like winding down, I'm eating my dinner, and I opened up my Facebook app, and at the top of my news feed was a little notification, like six years ago today, you had the status. And the status was just left city for the last time ever. <laughs> and six years ago today, John and I left Citibank. The jobs that were really awesome with fantastic benefits and high pay that more than paid for our lifestyle and my house that I owned and my mortgage and, oh, whoa, sorry. Everything got very dark all of a sudden. Um, our salaries that paid for all the things that we needed and basically we were so comfortable and so everything was just so convenient and yet we weren't happy and so six years ago today I literally like left that parking lot <laughs> so invigorated I mean I remember because I didn't like working at City you know it wasn't it didn't light me up it doesn't do I would not be working at Citibank right now at 1017 with a smile on my face let me tell you <laughs> But I'm over here at the home office stoked because I'm about to write an offer. I got home to 200 emails in the inbox. Like, shit's popping, my friends. Um, and so because of that, I've got a giant smile on my face. But let me tell you, if I was at City at 1017, I would not. There would be no smiling. I would be really miserable. So I remember the last day I left there, I literally, like, wanted to skip down the hallway and I'm pretty sure it was either the day that I left or the day prior that me and my like really good friend Kayla from Citibank literally held hands and skipped down the hallways <laughs> together just being weird to like trip people out and um I left and I got into my car and I just felt giddy with excitement I didn't know what was to come even though it was like such a risky move and like so much was riding on it you know like we were both about to be unemployed both about to be relying on our savings account both about to own only what we were to pack in the car you know like there was so much unknown yet there was so much excitement there and one thing that I always remind myself of is that fear and excitement reside in the body the same way they create energy and they create like woo so I feel like I got into my car, I immediately started blasting music, and I will not lie, and I'm not embarrassed to say that I left that parking lot with two middle fingers to the sky. <laughs> I was like, peace out, I'm out of here, like, I was so done. But taking that step towards freedom, and taking that, like, liberating, that was truly the first step in a series of so many at this point. It was truly the very first step in like following the dream and how monumental that was for us so as I'm still cranking away over here at the home office I was so pleasantly reminded of why I do what I do and why I get to help clients buy and sell real estate and why I love it so much and how awesome it is that I don't work at Citibank anymore so I see that some of you are just joining in right now. Hello, my friends. Hi, George. Hi, Paul. <laughs> I'm about to sign off. So, farewell. Thank you for joining in. You will have to bounce back and watch on the replay. Talk to you later, my friends.